Tom McNeil's modern fairy tale, Far, Far Away. The strange and fateful saga of a boy who heard ghosts, a girl who wrestled boys and won, and a spectral narrator. Yours truly, Jacob Grimm. Yes, I am the Grimm from Grimm's Fairy Tales. Students, listen if you will. Here we have the story of 15-year-old Jeremy Johnson Johnson Summer in the hamlet of Never Better, and all that transpired in those astonishing months. It's a journey of discovering love, as the shy young man tries to keep up with the ferociously independent, yet compassionate Ginger Bolting House. There are moments of tension so well crafted you have to keep reading. You need to get out more, Ginger said. You could be out on a night mission. All you have to do is sneak into the baker's house and dump the pop rocks into his cereal. There are run-ins with the town's authority figures, the dwarf, Deputy McRaven, and the bumbling Sheriff Pittsworth. <clears throat> Lambs what you wore last night, the Sheriff said, nodding at the shoes and then up at Jeremy. When you went out, I'm afraid you're going to have to come up to the station, son. And students, there's mystery. The baker's gaze drifted over the other posters of missing youths. So many children disappearing, he said. The sheriff sighed. Kids run away from home. What we're seeing now is the same old deal, only more so. Who is the finder of occasions, and what does he plan to do? And how will Jeremy be able to keep his house, which the bank plans on seizing by summer's end? These events in Jeremy's life may have parallels in your own life. You probably can't talk to ghosts, but you probably know what it feels like to be left out, like Jeremy is due to his shyness and misadventures. Or maybe you're like Ginger and you're caught in a time and place that doesn't appreciate your wild spirit. Maybe mystery is your bread and butter, in which case you'll keep an eye out for the finder of occasions as you read. Teachers, listen if you will. As a scholar myself, I recognize this young adult tale's classroom potential. This book is geared towards 6th and 7th graders, but I, Jacob Grimm, the narrator, refuse to diminish my word stock, despite the fact that some young readers might find a few terms difficult. The use of context clues, worksheets, and vocabulary examinations can help students with words such as indecorous, tendrils, magnanimous, petulant, and indignant. These words will bolster their writing for the state assessments and eventually the SAT, ACT, and real life conversation. As previously mentioned, this is a tale of love, but also one of alienation, for Jeremy's ability to hear ghosts turns him into the town outcast. Students could reflect on these themes in free rights, small group discussions, and by looking at other texts, such as movies, TV shows, and other books, that also grapple with these themes. Lastly, the novel blurs fairy tales and reality. One could analyze the tropes common in fairy tales, and compare and contrast them with the events of the novel. Looking into inventive ways writers redefine tropes is how we can get students to create original pieces of their own. Having students create their own modern fairy tales means working at a higher level of Bloom's taxonomy. Vocabulary engagement is important because words, with their nuances and meaning and complexity, can add flavor, voice, and even credentials to student writing. The themes or main ideas of a text connect the fictional world to the real one, and can offer students insight into problems and issues that come up in people's lives. Analyzing themes gets students to contemplate the abstract ideas that govern our lives and the interactions we have with others. The level of thinking required to do this is crucial to our growth from childhood to adulthood. And creating original work gives students the tools required to create other important documents whether those be projects and papers assigned during later years of education, college applications, or job resumes. Not everything has to be once upon a time to be a fairy tale, but it does help if the story takes place 